Hey guys, Mecha Majeur here, bringing you my brand new LP of Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, I haven't played in about, I don't know, a while. I couldn't before until uh, my friend gave me his copy, because my game would keep glitching up. So I did plan on practicing for this, but I haven't practiced in the longest time. But, you know, whatever. Uh, I really would consider this a blind LP, like... Sometimes I might consider LPs blind if you played them when you were a little kid and then you're trying to play them now when you have like no memory, but I definitely have good ideas of how to play this game, so I'm just gonna go ahead and be quiet until the cutscene finishes and see you guys that moving! Now now boys, don't touch that stuff. I am most concerned with the well-being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. <laughs> yeah, okay, I don't know why I said that. That really wasn't... That was pretty easy <laughs> cutscene to talk over, but... Yeah, okay. So, we have this weird goop here that we can actually you know, slide around in. And let me just say, the engine for this game is amazing. Like, see how when you slide in it, Mario even gets dirty. Let me just say another thing, besides the, end, the graphics are really good. So I'm gonna let you know right now, this game is meant for ODC, OCD people. So, and it evolved a lot around the water. So they had to make the water look realistic, and they did a really good job for that. Despite it being a GameCube game, I mean, the water looks better than the majority of other games too, and check it out. You can, like, frag the water. So if there's, like, the group anywhere, you can sometimes jump in the water. And... Go check it out. Oh Jesus, he's moving. Power up complete. Oh crap, Thank it's you talking. For purchasing this item from Gab Science Incorporated. Purchasing, you were just sitting there. Preparing to register okay. customer information. Scanning and classifying. Here's the, look at the bottom left. Data. See that? See that? Old Mario games. Yes, 64 right there. Mario 64. I did an LP of that game before. You guys saw it. Like, three of you guys saw that LP, but whatever. I've never forgotten his name. Flash Liquidizing Ultra Dousing Device. Proceeding with user instruction. I, I, I remember our shoots and then our refills. I, I remember. Ultimate flaws from Mario Sunshine. You can't skip annoying cutscenes. Good news being, there are like three points in the game that advance the block. Two of which are at the very beginning and at the very end. There's one other one, but you know. It's a Mario game, I'm not known for a lot. And sorry, if it, I, don't, I always try not to talk over cutscenes. Even though I don't play games with a lot of cutscenes, usually I just play platformers. But, I mean, this is kind of just the instructions, so... Plus there are subtitles, so, you know, that shouldn't be too big of a problem. And I think he's done. Yes, he's done. You know, I didn't quite catch that the first time. Let's, let's, let's listen to it again. <laughs> nah, not that big of a dick, don't worry. Alright, so now we have Flood. So you can push Y to zoom in like this. You can also lightly hold down R to move or hold it down all the way to stand still so you can get precise aiming. Uh, the graffiti marks you can wash away. Pretty much, if there's anything you don't get, if you're stuck at any point in any world, just spray something with water. You'll either get a blue coin or find the way out. That's, that's basically how it works. Oh, and the blue coins. Yeah, there are kind of 240 of them, 30 in each world, excluding the main world. Like, there, in every Mario game, there's just one type of coin that has to be a bitch, and this one is the freaking blue coins. Mario Galaxy, the purple coins, the first one, oh my god, that was just horrible. But, alright, they're not too bad if you get them all in one go. The main problem I have with it is that there's no, like, marker or anything, or, like, go to the piles menu, you've collected these blue coins in this area, blah blah blah. They do keep a counter so you know how many you have, but not which one specifically, so we can get a paint. And I don't know, I'll probably get you guys in close. Okay, spin jump. Rotate it around once, point in a direction and jump unique to this game. You can spin it around like halfway and then point in any direction, like 
Okay, I'm facing forward. I'll spin it up. But I'm pointing it back after the spin so I can spin it in any direction with that. There's also what I like to call the flood burst, which you hold down this and then A and just do a burst of a large amount of water. And not a lot of people know this. So you can also do it so you're holding down A lightly and then just jump. So you don't even get the back, you just get the burst. Uh, you can do this to go really fast, but only if you're in a straight line. Watch. You just gain up speed and just go really, really fast. Uh, oh yeah, X switches nozzles to the hover nozzle. And a lot of people say this breaks the game, but you don't go too much higher. You go like a foot, foot or two higher than you normally are, so... It doesn't break the game too much, but you know, it's just cool to have. Uh, there's no long jump in this game. Excuse me. There's no long jump. They do remain majority of the ones like the run in one direction, sharp turn, backflip, and wall jump. And of course, the triple jump. Alright, so now you might notice the thing in the middle looks a bit different from the rest of it. Well, if you try and clean it off, there's kind of a giant piranha by the end. These guys are probably the most... They're just... There's no point in them, really. Because they're just extremely easy to kill and they only appear in the beginning of the game. Like, in the beginning of the game, you fight three of them within, like, 20 minutes. And then you fight a more powerful version in one area. That's it. You just spray them in the mouth. A single drop kills them. And you fight them in that one area and then they're just gone for the rest of the game. They don't make another appearance. It's like, no. Nope. And conveniently, if there's a center to the goop, then all of the rest of it will just clear off. Like, if there's a building sunken in the middle, just get the building and the surrounding Google. Oh, what's this? This isn't a star. This is something completely different. I don't know, man. Just so you- oh, another thing, the spin jump, I will be abusing the hell out of that. I will try my best to spin jump to every si shine sprite like that. Oh yeah, they're also called shine sprites, not stars. There's a difference. The next cutscene is going to explain, basically... The next cutscene is going to explain, basically, everything you need to know about anything. Hmm, quite an unusual device. Is it some sort of pump? I am Flood. Glad to meet you. Hey, what's coming? is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint oh, like that's nasty. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home, and yes, endangering our very And you should think that all those X's were levels, and Indeed. all the levels are on those Often X's, but not all the X's are levels. What is going just, on. just heads up. Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. Yes, if that one little circle of light. have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians. Yeah, it took the, the expert shine, shine scholars to figure out that once all the shine sprites left, that's when it got dark. Yeah, that's, that's that's rocket science, man. It's not easy. Obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Again, Behold they needed to call in the expert for that. Based on eyewitness descriptions, the truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario! Objection! Overruled! I judge the defendant guilty as charged! Wait, wait, I didn't even get a chance to speak up! defendant to clean this entire island! Until Bullshit, I didn't even get a defense attorney! Until free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave! You know, if I wasn't a mute, I would totally testify to this. This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Data but the way he says those words, like, predicament. It's like a couple that are just, like, pollution, amazing when he says it. itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? Oh, spoiler alert, there's 120 of them. Shine sprites not like you've never seen that in a Mario game before. Isle Delfino. They used to gather in great numbers at the Shine Gate. But the graffiti incident has polluted the island, and most of the Shine Sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the Islanders. It is most pitiable. 
the Did only you... way to ensure the return of the shine sprites is to keep the island from becoming dirtier. any dirtier. Any the dirtier. The is likely at work even as we speak. And you, Mario, are being treated as a criminal. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve this situation. Yeah, apparently this whole thing takes place in one day. No! Shut up! You're worse than that stupid owl from Zola. Your first job's to get rid of all that ugliness. And remember, well, since you're still standing here, getting rid of the ugliness is pretty we'll hard. Know if you start slacking off. No, you never talk to them again, so they, they really don't know. Alright, this is the home hub world, home world, whatever you want to call it. You can go to all other worlds from here. Sort of like the castle in 64. And it's just pretty, you know, versatile. There's a lot of things you can do. A lot of weight kick points and stuff. And we have to clean this up, which, yeah. Kiantos will also sink things up on him off and stuff. I don't really feel like it. Yeah, you will. But, you know, we gotta kill him. Now there's a bunch of ways to kill these guys. As long as a single drop of water gets in their mouth, you can consider damage like watch. Oh, yeah. Spin jumping in the air, holding down water. At least just a torrent. Always kills him. I usually like to finish him off with the first master. Yeah, look at that. Back to the floor, bitch. Well, the good news is at least Princess Peach is here. I mean, seriously, if she wasn't with us, she'd probably just get kidnapped Princess again. Princess I mean, on the statue's head! What? what, what oh, oh, Jesus. Shut up, Mario. With the paintbrush. And creepy as shit red eyes. Yes, that's clearly Mario. He turned into a Negro overnight. Wait, where's he going? Don't you, don't, don't. Every goddamn time. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time to go chase after Princess Peach. But we will do that in the next episode. So I will see you guys there. Adios.